Do you feel like you aren't coming out of the raids that you actually survive with enough loot? Do you ever feel like you spend too much time looting or managing your loot in your backpack? Or do you ever watch streamers stuff literally every single thing they find into their backpack? Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to loot like a pro in Escape from Tarkov. Here we go. Before we get into the details, I need to cover two very important things. If you're new to the game, or for some reason are still manually dragging things from a body to your backpack or player, learn these two easy keybinds first. Press left control and click your mouse to instantly pick up any item you want to be stored in your vest, pockets, or backpack. Magazines and ammo will automatically go to your vest, grenades will automatically go to your pockets, and all other items will go to your backpack. Press left alt and click your mouse to automatically equip gear. This includes helmets, headsets, face covers, armor, weapons, etc. These keybinds are essential to learn and you should commit them to muscle memory. Alright, now let's get into the more advanced stuff. first and most important thing to know about packing as much loot as possible into a backpack is that there are tons of tactical rigs and armored rigs in the game that can hold way more loot than they take up in your backpack. What I mean by that is they have more storage cells inside of the rig than they will take up cells in your backpack. That being said, not all rigs are created equal, and some are better than others. You can classify these into three main groups, good, better, and best. A good rig is something like a Triton. It will allow you to store four more cells than it takes up in your backpack. A better rig is something like the new Azimut rig. It takes up the same amount of room as a Triton, but it can store 20 cells of loot within it. And the best rigs can hold huge quantities of loot. Examples of these are the TV-110, AVS, and MPPV rigs. These rigs take up a small amount of room in your backpack, but can hold over 20 slots of loot, with the AVS holding 24 cells, including two 2x2 two two cells for helmets and other larger items. As you can see, they make a huge amount of room in your backpack. There are smaller rigs that can help you maximize space, but until you learn which ones are best, just right click any rig and select inspect and look at its container size. Then just multiply the length and width of the outside dimensions of the rig and if the container size is larger, it will save you space in your backpack. Next up is container optimization. It's obviously quicker just to drag over loot to a container in your backpack, but every once in a while you should duck into a safe room or corner during a raid and optimize your backpack and its containers. Place 1x1 one one cell items in 1x1 one one slots to free up larger slots for additional loot. In this example, I can't drag over any more loot into this container, but there's still room inside. By optimizing the layout of the loot, I can fit more inside. And just like the inside of containers, you should also optimize the container themselves within your backpack to fit more loot. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, but try to have as large of an empty space as possible within your backpack. Now that your backpack and containers are set up, let's optimize even further by prioritizing valuables. The first thing you're gonna want to do is determine if the magazines you've looted are worth the space they take up. Oftentimes, you might loot something like an MP5 or an M4 with 30 round magazines. The ammo inside might be incredibly valuable, but the magazine itself is not. Unload magazines to take their valuable ammo, but drop the mags to save space. Next, be aware of any opportunities to condense loot items by attaching them to other items in your inventory. Things like flashlights can easily be added onto a weapon you've looted, a handgun in your pistol slot, or a handguard in your inventory. Sometimes you might want to loot an AK handguard not because that item itself is valuable, but because you can attach a red dot, two lasers, and a grip to it, all within a 1x1 one one slot. Also, keep an eye out for sprut mounts on shotgun scavs. These things are super common to find on scavs and they can fit three flashlights or laser modules onto them. You can also free up space by taking a red dot off a gun you've looted and putting a scope that takes up a 1x2 slot on that gun instead. There's tons of ways to maximize space like this, so be creative and always ask yourself, how can I make a large item take up less room? And last but not least, at some point you're going to get full and you need to perform a little loot triage. This will come with experience, but try to familiarize yourself with what is valuable and what isn't. Here's a few examples. 
Let's say you killed a bunch of raiders and looted a ton of grenades. These are great to loot, but something like an F1 grenade only costs around 7k rubles right now. If you find some weapon parts or something more valuable, drop the grenades to make room. Same thing for IFAX and other medical items. These are typically pretty cheap compared to things like optics and suppressors, so don't think you're dropping good money. And sometimes, you're just going to have to drop something of value. Don't feel bad about it, so do your best to bring out the highest value items or items that you need for a quest. And that's all you need to know to loot like a pro. Keep in mind that all of these techniques, as well as learning the different rigs and values of items, will take time. Just do your best, and it's totally okay to make a few mistakes along the way as you learn. Over time, you'll improve your speed and technique, and you'll be a pro in no time. If you'd like to see how I loot, drop by my Twitch stream. A link is in the description. We've had a ton of people stop by the stream from YouTube, and even if you stop by and say what's up, it'll put a smile on my face. And if you stick around, just lurking in the stream does a lot to help me out, and I appreciate each and every one of you that has supported me so far. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll have more tips and lore videos coming soon. But until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.